Lehman's Academic Requirements. In this presentation, we are going to discuss academic requirements that make up Lehman's bachelor degree. These include requirements that all students across CUNY must meet, as well as specific academic requirements that apply to Lehman. We will be covering CUNY's Pathways curriculum, Lehman's college option, and writing intensive courses, as well as requirements involving GPA, major, residency, and credits. We will also review how you can complete these requirements in an efficient manner. Let's begin with the Pathways requirements. Pathways is CUNY's system of general education requirements and transfer guidelines across the university. It establishes a universal structure of requirement categories that are the same throughout CUNY, but the individual courses that fall into those categories vary from college to college. Importantly, Pathways guarantees that general education requirements fulfilled at one CUNY college will transfer seamlessly and complete that requirement at any other CUNY college. The Pathways curriculum consists of two main parts, a 30-credit Common Core, which exists at all CUNY campuses, and the college option requirements that only pertain to colleges that grant bachelor's degrees. All students pursuing a bachelor's degree at Lehman who have not previously completed a bachelor's degree or an associate's in arts or science degree must complete the 30-credit Common Core. Students who transfer to Lehman and have previously completed a bachelor's, associate in arts, or associate in science degree will be deemed to have automatically fulfilled these Common Core requirements. The Common Core portion of the Pathways requirements total 30 credits and exist at all of CUNY's campuses. There are two types of Common Core courses, Required Common Core and Flexible Core courses. The Required Common Core courses are as follows. Two courses in English Composition, one course in Mathematical and Quantitative Reasoning, and one course in Life and Physical Sciences. There are six Flexible Core courses required that fall into the categories listed here. Note that to fulfill the final category, students may choose one additional course from any of the preceding five Flexible Core areas. The second part of the pathway structure is the college option. This requirement exists only at CUNY institutions that grant bachelor's degrees, so you may not have heard of it if you're transferring from a CUNY community college. The requirement varies from 6 to 12 credits, depending on the number of credits transferred and whether the student has completed an associate's degree. These requirements are called college option because each of CUNY's bachelor degree granting campuses has the option to decide what type of course to include in the college option. This does not mean that the requirement is optional for students. Lehman's college option requirement is made up of two parts, a foreign language requirement, which is two courses, and an LEH requirement, also two courses. Some students may not have to complete the full four-course requirement, depending on the number of credits transferred and whether the student has completed an associate's degree. While this is the basic college option structure, students who are part of the adult degree program have additional choices for completing the college option. If you are part of the ADP program, please speak with your advisor regarding the requirements that pertain to you. Under Pathways, college option courses taken at another CUNY college may be used to fulfill Lehman's college option requirements regardless of what type of course was taken. For example, a student transferring from Hunter College may have taken a biology course to fulfill Hunter's college option requirement. Upon transferring to Lehman, this biology course will count toward Lehman's college option requirement even though at Lehman, biology courses are not part of the college option. Let's break down the college option requirements into further detail. In the previous slide, we mentioned that the first part of Lehman's college option is two courses in a foreign language. Specifically, this needs to be a two-course sequence in the same language. While this is the general requirement that applies to most students, there are some important variables that need clarification. This requirement may be modified if you are transferring from a community college. Students who transfer with a completed associate's degree that is recognized by CUNY are waived from the entire foreign language requirement. Students who transfer 30 or more credits from a community college but do not have a completed associate's degree 
may need to complete fewer foreign language courses. Please consult an academic advisor to review your record and provide further details. It is also important to note that a minimum score of three on an advanced placement test in foreign language will satisfy one of the two required foreign language courses. However, a satisfactory score on a foreign language CLEP exam will award college credit but does not count toward the foreign language requirement. Finally, students who have reached advanced proficiency in a foreign language offered at Lehman may substitute a language option course for one of the required foreign language courses. Please consult the Department of Languages and Literatures for details. The second part of Lehman's college option requirement are the LEH courses. LEH is short for Lehman. The LEH courses are upper-level general education courses. Most students will have to complete two LEH courses. However, there are some exceptions to this rule. Based on a student's transfer profile, some students transferring from community colleges may be allowed to substitute an elementary-level foreign language course for one of the LEH courses. Or, students who transfer a college option course from another CUNY college may apply it toward the LEH requirement at Lehman, as was mentioned earlier in the example of a student transferring a biology course. Please consult an academic advisor for details. To be eligible to register for LEH courses, you must meet two criteria. You need to have declared your major and for that declared major to be processed in CUNY first, and you need to have either completed 60 credits or more at Lehman or in transfer, or have received an associate's degree. There are five different categories of LEH courses corresponding to different areas of the curriculum. Here you see the categories and the numbers that represent each of them. There are two important rules that govern how the LEH requirements must be completed. First, students are excluded from enrolling in one of the five LEH categories based on their major. For example, a psychology major cannot enroll in LEH 351. Please refer to Lehman's Academics website linked here for details. Second, the two LEH courses that you use to fulfill this requirement must have different course numbers, signifying that they come from different areas. This means that you cannot complete the LEH requirement by taking two LEH 353 courses, for example. Now let's discuss the writing intensive requirement. Writing intensive courses require students to apply the skills learned in English composition to the subject area of the course. Therefore, English composition courses are not considered to be writing intensive. Certain sections of courses are designated as writing intensive. These sections require additional writing assignments compared to other sections. Note that the same course may offer some sections that are writing intensive and some that are not. The writing intensive sections are identified in the schedule of classes. Another important point about writing intensive courses is that they can be double dipped with any other requirement, major or minor courses, general education courses, or electives. Writing intensive courses from previous institutions do not count toward the requirement at Lehman. Instead, the college assumes that you would have completed writing intensive courses if you studied previously at another college, and that's why you get a discount in the writing intensive requirement. The more credits you have in transfer, the fewer writing intensive courses you would need to take at Lehman. Here are the specifics regarding the number of writing intensive courses required. Students who have less than 30 credits transferred must complete four writing intensive courses at Lehman. Students who transferred between 30 but less than 60 credits must complete three writing intensive courses at Lehman. And students who have 60 or more transfer credits or a completed associate's degree must complete two writing intensive courses at Lehman. Another category of requirements are the courses required toward your declared major. To earn your bachelor's degree, you must declare and complete one major. You have the option to declare and complete additional majors and or minors if you so choose. The number of credits required to complete your major depends on which major you've declared. There is a very big range, 
with majors requiring anywhere from as few as 27 credits to as many as 80 credits for completion. The more credits your major requires, the less room you'll have in your academic program for elective credits, and vice versa. Certain majors, such as social work and nursing, require special applications and additional requirements for admission. Please check the department websites for more information. Finally, it's important to note that students who are pursuing professional licenses or admission to graduate programs may be required to complete additional courses outside the requirements for their major. As you likely know, all students must also meet minimum grade requirements to continue their enrollment at Lehman and satisfy graduation requirements. 2.0 is the minimum GPA required for graduation. This 2.0 applies to your overall Lehman GPA, known as your cumulative GPA. It also applies to your declared major or majors, as well as to any declared minors. Students are required to have an overall GPA of 2.0 in all courses taken in their major and minor departments. In most cases, a 2.0 cumulative GPA is also required to remain in good standing at Lehman. Students whose GPA falls below 2.0 may be at risk of dismissal. It is important to note that while 2.0 is the college-wide GPA requirement, certain programs and majors may have higher GPA and or course grade requirements for entry continuation, and graduation. Another type of graduation requirement is the residency requirement. Courses taken in residence refers to the coursework completed at Lehman. Although CUNY is one university system, courses taken on e-permit at another CUNY campus do not count toward Lehman's residency requirement. To meet the residency requirement, you must complete at least 30 credits of coursework at Lehman. This includes at least half the number of credits required for your declared major or majors, and at least half the number of credits required for your declared minor or minors, if you choose to declare them. The final requirement that we are going to discuss is the credit requirement. To qualify for graduation, students must complete a minimum of 120 credits. This 120 credit total is made up of credits in residence, or coursework that you completed at Lehman, and your transfer credits. It's important to know that the maximum number of credits that can be transferred from an associate degree program is 70. Your credits will include a variety of different types of requirements, most of which you're already familiar with. Pathways courses, the writing intensive courses, courses required for your major and for your minor if declared, and elective credits. If you need general elective credits to reach the minimum of 120 credits required, you can choose from any course in the schedule of classes for which you have met the prerequisites. In some cases, students might be required to complete a specific type of elective known as liberal arts electives. This is to meet New York State's degree requirement for a minimum number of liberal arts credits that make up your bachelor's degree. Your academic advisor will review your record to determine if you are required to take additional liberal arts elective courses to meet this requirement and provide you with further information if needed. To meet the credit requirement, students must complete the minimum requirement of 120 credits as well as the specified minimum credit requirement for all declared majors, minors, and interdisciplinary programs. Now that you're familiar with all of Lehman's academic requirements, let's discuss some ways in which you can complete them most efficiently. First, it's important to understand the courses can simultaneously apply to different requirements. This is commonly referred to as double dipping. You can double dip courses that apply to your major, minor, and general education requirements. Many LEH and Pathways courses are offered as writing intensive courses. In addition, some majors and minors have requirements that are also offered as writing intensive. There are some restrictions, though, on double dipping. First, you must know that a single course cannot fulfill two pathways requirements. In addition, at least 50% of the courses taken to fulfill the requirements of a minor must be discrete. 
that means that at least 50% must be different from the courses used to fulfill the requirements of your major or other minors or certificates. Finally, for students declaring multiple majors, each major must have 24 discrete credits. Some courses in the Pathways curriculum are designated as STEM variant courses. Often, these courses will have additional prerequisites and or be worth more than three credits. In order to make efficient progress toward graduation, students pursuing STEM majors or professions should use STEM variant courses to fulfill the mathematical and quantitative reasoning, life and physical sciences, and scientific world requirements, since these courses may also satisfy major or professional licensing requirements. We hope that this presentation has helped clarify Lehman's academic requirements. If you have any questions about the information covered in this video, please contact your academic advising office. To review the different advising offices at Lehman, please refer to the first chapter in this course.